All right, guys, this is Dr. Wong with the Physio U team here with your mentoring minutes. And I want to spend a few minutes just talking about the common entrapment sites of the ulnar nerve in the upper extremity. So after you've cleared the cervical spine to make sure that this patient's problem, some type of ulnar pain, ulnar distribution pain, isn't coming from the cervical spine, then you can now go and assess the common entrapment sites. So first one we're going to talk about is here about 8 centimeters north of the medial epicondyle and this is called the arcade of Struthers. So you could tenel the region, you could assess the soft tissue in the region and look for reproduction of symptoms. Then as you move further down you know that it is going to run through the cubital tunnel and the reason why the cubital tunnel is a problem is because with excessive elbow flexion the cubital tunnel becomes smaller, the cubital tunnel pressure increases. And so, yes, there may be an entrapment here, but it's often associated with an excessive elbow flexion type of posture or movement. So you have to consider the movement contribution to the nerve, nerve problem. So here is the entrapment site. You can tenel it, you can soft tissue it, look for restrictions. Then we're gonna move further into the flexor carpi ulnaris between the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris. Again, you'll be tenelling the muscles through this region, and then you'll follow the entrapment site down to the pisohamate ligament or Guillain's canal in through here. So you can see here the hook of the hamate, you can see this is the pisiform, and so the patient, if they complain of a lot of numbness and tingling or burning in the ulnar region, uh, the fourth and fifth fingers, especially if there's a lot of pressure on this region, then you would want to assess the entrapment site look for tenel, positive tenel sign, and also consider whether the things that they do, perhaps biking or bench pressing, something that puts a lot of pressure on this region, whether that's something that you need to modify or change the loading on these structures. Okay, so this is, we'll take a look at that on the patient. All right, so we're looking at the ulnar nerve entrapment sites in the upper extremity. Here, I always use the medial epicondyle to localize where I'm at and I move eight centimeters north and somewhere in here is the arcade of Struthers. So I'm gonna tenel that and look for reproduction of the patient's symptoms. And I can visualize the nerve running deep into the cubital tunnel. If the patient's com complaining of ulnar nerve type pain or entrapment pain in the elbow region, medial elbow region, I probably have ruled out a, some type of valgus stress to the uh, ulnar collateral ligament. I am now palpating in the cubital tunnel and looking for reproduction of symptoms and listening during their subjective, during their uh, functional activities, whether they have a lot of elbow flexion, because I want to reduce that for the patient. If they complain of a lot of ulnar symptoms at night, we have to consider whether they're excessively flexing at the elbow unconsciously while they're sleeping. Okay, so that's one of the entrapment sites. Then the flexor carpi ulnaris muscles, you're gonna, or the heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris, we're gonna palpate along there and look for entrapment and finally looking for soft tissue restriction and looking at the pisohamate ligament. So here I have the pisiform, I have the hook of the hamate and I can actually palpate and tenel in that region looking for a patient symptom reproduction. Remember sometimes these conditions are, are caused by positions of strain or positions of compression and those need to be modified in the patient's tasks, in their function, in their sport, or their daily life. So consider that as um, a common causes of some of these compression or compression neuropathies of the ulnar nerve.